everyone, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel, my name is May. You guys, I am really excited about today's video because I am really into these disc bound notebooks at the moment. So this is what this is gonna be about, but you can follow along and kind of take inspiration and ideas anyway, even if you're not into these disc bound um, notebooks and planners because I have a lot of cool things that I wanna show you guys. So let me just give you a little background. I was cleaning out my office and I found this box from Levenger. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. Um, it has this like really just it's fancy, right? So this was actually from one of um, my very first, not my first, but one of the first um, lawyer jobs I had. My real, like a real big girl job. My boss gave us a um, huge like welcome to the firm bag and in it was a Levenger notebook, um, a red one because those were our company colors. Um, and it had like just all these like great accessories with it had dividers that you guys can see here. It had um, another pack of just plain dividers. This is just some paper. And then also it came with this like beautiful um, carrying like cloth as well, storage cloth, I guess, as well. And then it also had a um, black cover as well. So there was two different colors that you could use. And it was so much fun, you guys, to like go through this notebook. It was total walk down memory lane because I was um, just like, reminiscing about the good old days. This was back when I lived in Chicago and I worked for a firm downtown with an incredible woman named Jennifer. She is still um, a friend of mine. She is still rocking the business world. She's amazing. She was the coolest boss I ever had. So if I ever had to have a boss again, um, I don't really ever want a boss, but <laughs> I want to be the boss. But if I ever have to have a boss again, Jennifer is the lady I want to be my boss. So anyway, started going through this and I was like, hey, this notebook's kind of cool. Let me just like pull it out and um, see, you know, what it's all about. Well, I fell in love. You guys, I really, really love this system. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love spiral bound planners because I can do this. I can turn it around on itself. Um, I just love that feature about spiral planners. Um, and I know that a lot of you don't like them because they're not customizable, but I've shared videos in the past with you guys on ways you can customize them. I love the spiral things, right? And actually this is the planner that I'm currently using. You guys always ask me um, to see what I'm using and this is it right now. It is the um, Mead Cambridge edition in this kind of like I don't know, peachy, corally, blush color. And it's, you'll notice a full size um, calendar. This is just the monthly. Right now, um, I have a lot of exciting things coming up, which I can't wait to tell you guys about and I will be sharing soon. Um, but right now, everything that I'm doing is really high level, um, kind of big task management. That was another reason why I wanted to start using this notebook. It's full size, gives me a lot of room. And again, I have a lot of projects that I'm planning out. I love this size. Um, it's just, it's really helpful for me right now in this season of my life that I'm in. So I love that it goes with this planner perfectly. Like the sizing is perfectly. Um, I can put my planner in here. It does stick out a bit, but um, you know, they, they work well together. So I was really excited that I had this notebook and that I found it. Um, side note, this rose gold beautiful clip is from Cloth and Paper. You guys know how much I love Ashley. Check out her shop. So I wanted to set up this notebook as a project planning notebook. And it's gonna be for my business. I am getting ready to um, launch something really exciting in 2016. So I have big things happening in, bus in the business world and I need something to kind of organize it all and just kind of write out my notes, whether it's a daily download, um, you know, just things like that. So I wanted to set this up. I thought you guys would enjoy the process. A couple of different things that I want to show you guys. Now, the first thing that I did in setting this up, well, let me backtrack. This red cover was on here and I just took off the front and the back and put on the black ones. It's not difficult to do. Don't um, freak out when you're changing these covers on these discs. I was really afraid that I was gonna break them. I mean, don't go crazy, but they are durable, hard plastic. So you can change these pretty quickly and then just snap on the new ones. So um, I did just change out the red cover that I had on there before and put on this black one. 
And then I did something really exciting. So I am someone who believes in vision boards. I don't know how you guys feel about them. Um, I have filmed an entire video on vision boards and I will be sharing that with you guys soon. I believe in them as a tool. Even if you think they're kind of hokey, I hope you guys will check out that video and give me um, just a bit of your time. Bear with me on that one because I do think that they're very important and I think that they work. So um, I decided to make a vision board for my business for 2016. I'm not gonna go over this whole thing with you guys in this video because like I said, I do have a completely separate video on vision boards where I'll talk more about this, but I wanted to have, um, like I said, a very specific board for my business and I wanted it to be the dashboard inside this notebook. Because I'm gonna be working in this notebook, I'm gonna be in it every single day, I thought it would be the perfect place for me to put this vision board. So um, I just you know, made it, laminated it, and then punched it. Now, let me show you guys the arc punch that I'm using. I did not wanna buy one of those big ones. Um, I wanted something that was portable. So I got this arc punch from Staples. It was like $14, $15. Um, I do not recommend it. I have ordered a, another one from Levenger, um, which is you know the company that made this notebook. If you guys aren't familiar with these disc bound systems, maybe I should just take a minute um, for a really brief overview. As far as I know, um, Levenger was the first company that came out with these disc bound systems and then others have followed. Arc is Staples own in-house brand um, that makes these notebooks of course, a lot more affordably. Um, they make the discs, they make the covers, covers that look exactly, exactly like these in a lot of different colors. Um, I just saw them at Staples. So they are, you know, a more affordable option. Me and my big ideas, the Happy Planner, if you guys are a fan of that, you know that it is also a disc bound system. I know a lot of you don't like the disc bound system, so I don't want you to get too caught up in that. I mean, I know this video is about the Levenger because I love this system and right now it's my favorite thing ever. But um, again, if it's not your thing, don't worry. You can still use the inspiration from this. But anyway, back to this punch. I do not recommend this. It will only punch one page at a time. Um, I didn't have a problem punching this one laminated page. Not a problem, like I said. But the Levenger one that I've ordered, um, I believe you can punch up to eight pages. So I'll share that with you guys once it comes in. Again, Levenger does have different options for the discs. I ended up getting some gold ones because... I will tell you guys another little secret. I have ordered another Louis Vuitton desk agenda. I know that I'm crazy and that I said I didn't like it, but I decided to give it another go. So I've ordered the gold discs to go in that. Anyway, totally off topic. Okay, so I made this, laminated it, um, punched it with this punch, and it is going to go in the front of my project planning notebook. It's gonna be the first thing I see lots of business inspiration. So like I said, super easy to put these into the discs. You just literally go like this and it's in. So here it is, this is my dashboard, the front of my planner, of my, pro yeah, it's a planner, project planner. Um, I'm gonna be just using plain paper in here. So it's not gonna be anything special as far as the paper goes. Okay, so I have already started writing in here, but let me take these pages out. And again, these pages that are in here are from Levenger. Um, they were pages that came, I had them in this box, so I'm assuming they came with the system. I don't think you have to use these pages at all. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a big deal at all. I think you can just use plain paper. Um, you can buy colored paper if you like colored paper and hole punch it. You can um, just buy regular like printer paper and use that. Whatever you want, you can buy. They have paper at Staples also. I don't think you need to pay um, more to Levenger to get their paper. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside because the next thing I wanna do is create some dividers. Now, I'm gonna be using this stunningly gorgeous marble wrapping paper. This came in my, I believe, November cloth and paper box. Again, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much I love Ashley and cloth and paper. She has gorgeous, chic planner supplies, so check her out. Um, so this is the paper I'm gonna be using. I'm really into marble right now, but honestly, you guys, I feel like marble is becoming the new black and white stripes. Everyone and their dog is putting it everywhere. 
So I'm trying not to like overdo it because I'm gonna start feeling like I do about black and white stripes, which that it's way overused, way overplayed. I don't wanna see stripes anymore. So um, I'm trying, I mean, I love it. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. But for me, I just wanna be careful and use it sparingly so that I don't get sick of seeing it. So I've got this wrapping paper and what I'm gonna be using as the um, kind of pattern to trace are these, let me get them. I'm assuming it came with the system um, when I received it. I honestly don't remember. So this is what I'm gonna be using. But again, I don't think you need to buy these um, from Levenger directly. Um, I can't speak to the quality of these uh, as opposed to the ones from Staples, but um, I mean, it's just plastic. So it's I'm sure quality wise, it's gonna be pretty similar. I do really like these very plain white tabs, but I wanted to, again, kind of break it up with the marble. Um, I think it'll look really nice with kind of this editorial look. Um, of the black and white and even the um, vision board that I have in there as well. So maybe what I'll do is alternate my tabs. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So let's see, there are five here and I think I'm only gonna make three tabs. So my um, project planning notebook, let's see, what do you guys think? Do you think that'll look okay? I think so. Um, I have a gigantically humongous project that will be launching in 2016. Bits and parts of it I will be able to um, share with you guys. So that is going to be tab number one. I am going to use this notebook for YouTube as well. So that will be tab number two. And then I'm just going to have um, tab number three be a notes um, page. And then within these three tabs, I will um, have subsections as well. And I'll probably just um, use these blank spaces here to kind of divide these tabs into subsections. So um, I like the idea of that. So since I'm only going to be doing three, I think I will make them all out of this marble paper. I certainly have plenty of it. Um, let me show you guys just so you know what to look for. These are Katie Lehman um, gift wrap sheets. And again, from Cloth and Papers, this is what the wrapping looks like. And they came with super cute gift tags as well. So just in case you guys have never um, seen how to make a divider, I will show you. This process is the same whether you are using it for the disc bound system or for a file fax or any other um, six ring system. It doesn't matter, it's the same. The only thing that's gonna differ is where, you're, um, where you punch the holes. So let me grab a pencil. All right, so I'm going to lay out my page and kind of look and see um, what parts of it I like the best and what parts I wanna use and kind of lay out these dividers on here. I apologize if this is not all in frame. I will be able to get three dividers out of this. So once I've decided what I'm gonna use, I like to trace on the back. Now, remember, if you are tracing on the back, you want to also flip your divider as well, right? So let me flip this page over. All right, so I flipped over the wrapping paper, but here's my divider. I wanna flip my divider over as well so that when I cut and I flip it over, both will be on the right side. And then literally all I'm gonna do is just trace around it so I have a place to cut. Again, I like to trace on the back because I can go around it as you know dark as I want with my pencil. I don't have to worry about being too neat. Now remember, if, this, if you're not putting anything um, on the back, if you're not like making it double-sided, then you'll still see your pencil marks. So, um, you know, you will have to erase them, but still you don't have to be as neat as if they were on the front. So here's this, I'm gonna continue to trace and cut out my dividers. Almost done cutting these out. I've got the first two. I'm gonna get this last one cut out. I've plugged in my laminator. I put it in the other room because you guys, this thing makes so much noise. It's the Purple Cow Laminator from Amazon. I'm happy with it. It was very affordable and it came with so many laminating sheets. So I'm very happy with it. It's worked fine for me, but honestly, it is so loud. Okay, I definitely should have used more precision scissors, but this is all I had. So this is gonna work for now. So here are the three dividers. Let's get them in order. Okay, absolutely love these. Now, I wanna go around the back 
and just kind of clean up any pencil marks because again, I'm not gonna be lining them with anything um, on the back, so the back is gonna show. You guys, these are gonna be stunning. All right, here are my laminating sheets and do you know what I just realized? Are they gonna fit? Oh my gosh. Yes, they are gonna fit, but just barely. I think that I'm gonna need to cut these down because it's fitting in here just barely. I think I'm gonna take a little bit off of the end of each one, and I'm realizing that these are really uneven. I guess my cutting skills are not that great. So I do have a paper trimmer. Let me just cut a little bit off the side of each of these. All right, so I just used my paper trimmer to um, even up the edges. I probably should have used that from the beginning, but that's okay. And I did find some smaller scissors, so that'll come in handy. So I am going to just put this inside my laminating sheet. I have my laminator on. I am sorry if you guys can hear that. If you hear the dying cow in the background, that is my purple cow laminator from Amazon. <laughs> Again, no complaints because it does work really well and it came with a lot of these laminating sheets, but man, that thing is so noisy. All right, let me go laminate this and be right back. All right, I've got all three of these laminated and I am going to just trim them up and then I might run them through the laminator again just to seal it up. All right, these are cut and double laminated. Let's get them punched. This um, arc punch, one thing that is really cool that I like about it, it has this guide that you put it, you put whatever you're punching under. So I thought that was kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna put this in there. All right, so that one is punched. You guys can see it does a really nice job of punching. All right, so let's get these other two in here. And the last one is done. So let's put the dividers in here now. So I just have some blank note paper in here already. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my first divider right at the front, skip some pages, and then put in my second one. Again, the great thing about this system is that it's so easy to remove the pages in and out. So um, that's a huge advantage over just a notebook that is like a three subject notebook, for example. Um, the pages are in the sections and there's no moving them around. So if you need more pages in a section, you are out of luck. But that's why I really love these um, disc bound systems because I can just move the pages around. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful, right? These are really beautiful, this marble wrapping paper I love. I love that when it's closed you can't see the tabs. Um, and what I'm thinking actually is maybe I will put these two, um, not these two, these two that uh, went in between. Maybe I'll just put those in between. It'll give it a little bit more structure and it'll just add a little bit of dimension also. So again, that's the great part if you want to take something out, you can, you wanna add it, you can do that as well. What do you guys think? Having these plain white tabs in between the marble ones? I think I like that idea. So I'm just gonna put these in here. Um, one other thing that I wanted to do, because this back cover has these pockets, I wanted to put something back here that would act as kind of like a page lifter. Um, not Actually, not even so much a page lifter, but just kind of like a um, hard board that I could use to write on. So um, I decided that I'm just gonna use one of the dividers that I already had. So I have this set of dividers. I'm not gonna use these ever. Um, and I just have found this gray one and all I'm gonna do is just cut off this tab. Please pray that I do it evenly. Perfect, okay. So I'm going to use this um, in the back as just kind of like a um, cover, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Just like a hard thing so that um, I'm, if I'm writing on these back pages, this will give it some support and I won't see these. So 
that is perfect and that is in there so that's really it you guys what do you think tell me about what you think about these tabs do you like these white ones interspersed in there i think i really like the way this looks i like the um alternating colors so we'll see we'll see how it goes i already was using this uh, as my project notebook i just didn't have the um, dividers in there and didn't have this uh, dashboard set up so again like i said my first section is going to be for my project that i um, have going on right now that will kick off in 2016. I will share some parts of that with you guys. This second tab is going to be for my YouTube, just different uh, video ideas. And if I need to like plan out a video or take notes, that'll go in this second section. And then this final section will just be various notes and things that I want to keep track of. Again, absolutely love this system because I can do this. I think it's awesome. Let me show you guys the pen that I'm going to be using. This is also from Cloth and Paper. Um, it is, let's see, what does this say? It says Muse Gel Ink Pen. I am not a huge fan of this teal turquoise color um, at all, but I do really, really love this pen. It writes beautifully. Um, it's a 0.5 gel ink pen. It fits great into my little pen loop here in the back of my Lavender notebook. So yeah, that's it. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope it gave you some good ideas. If you're interested in knowing more about the process of how I actually plan a project, I'm happy to share that with you guys. Um, so just thumbs up this video or leave a comment down below and let me know if you would like to know more about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope this was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, I'd love for you to join my community by subscribing to my my channel it means the world to me thank you guys so much for watching I'm going to leave you with a parting shot of my vision board for my business because I love this all right stay tuned for the vision board video it's gonna be a good one you guys I promise you don't want to miss it I hope you guys are doing really well thanks again for watching I'll see you soon bye